Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Real Farm. So before we pick up where we left off in our most recent video and show some more uh, career mode gameplay, I wanted to take a few moments and show you what is in the most recent public beta branch update, which is now update number two of the beta branch. And you can see there are several things listed here, and I'm showing you these for really two reasons. First, just to give you an idea of all of the things that the developers are working on, and these are some of the things that can be fixed fairly quickly. Other bugs and issues in the game uh, take a little bit more time and research on the developer's part to figure out exactly what's going on, so they're going to take a little bit longer. The second reason that I point this out and, and show this to you is I'm trying to take this Let's Play series a little bit slow and not putting out quite as many videos as I would prefer. Uh, we're taking it a little slow simply because I don't want to get too far ahead of the developers since at this point uh, we've now had two updates in very short order and I don't want to get too far ahead of them on their bug fixes and actually have you guys watching a video on the channel that has an issue in it that's already been fixed. Now some of that I just won't be able to help because I can't uh, record all of these videos on the same day that they go up on the channel. So some of that won't be able to be helped, but as much as I can, I'm trying to keep that to a minimum, especially here at the beginning when there are so many updates coming out so frequently. So with that in mind, uh, there are a couple of things that I did want to point out on this list. We're not going to go over the entire list. You guys can see what's working there. And if you own the game and are playing the game, then you'll be able to, I'm sure, spot a few of these at least that have applied to you. The first one I want to point out is the very last one. Braking distance is reduced for all vehicles. Now, right now, there are two main issues that I have with the tractors in the game. And one is the turning radius. And I think basically everybody that's played the game has an issue with the turning radius. It is huge. It makes it very difficult to maneuver your way uh, around both the fields when you're trying to turn around for another uh, pass through the field or whether you're trying to hook up or disconnect implements on the farm itself. That, that's obviously a huge issue and apparently it's going to take them a little bit longer to address that one. But the braking distance is another one. I know I've had several times where I'm trying to back up just a little bit or pull forward just a little bit and it makes it very hard because it's almost as if the tractors in the game have this huge amount of inertia that it takes quite a bit of energy to overcome that, but then whenever you overcome it, it's almost like the tractor moves either forward or reverse like it's shot out of a cannon. And it makes it very difficult to try to move short distances the way that you would need to if you're really interested in hooking up implements to the front or the rear of the tractor. So hopefully this braking distance is reduced really helps out with at least part of that. We'll see how it goes because here in just a moment, we're going to get back to uh, the in-game footage, but that's one of the, the issues that I wanted to point out. And also, uh, let's see, one, two, three, fourth from the bottom, remove the limit from owning vehicles of the same type. Now, this isn't something that we've gotten to and experienced in our career mode gameplay just yet, but it's something that I have experienced in free mode um, on my own personal time. And the reason I bring that up now is because this is one of the things that I'm trying to do a little bit more of. At this point, I do want to continue playing the game, even though I can't record all of it. So I've set up a separate save file to where I can just basically test things out. Now, these are things that should have been done well before release, and probably 90% of these issues should never have made it into the release version of the game. But at this point, I'm setting that to the side because we are where we are, and there's nothing we can do about it at this point. So I'm just trying to help out as much as I can. And at the very bottom of this post, you can see that there is a form that you can fill out to report any bugs or issues that you're having with the game. I've started trying to do that as well as posting to the forum just so I can help them out as much as I possibly can. Again, this is definitely not uh, the way that I believe games are intended to be to be done. All of this should have been done pre-release. And then at this point, we should just be fixing things that really are more nitpicky and things that would have been harder to find during testing. But a lot of the issues that we've seen, even just so far in our career mode in the few videos we've done so far in the series, a lot of these things should have been taken care of well before release. But like I said, I'm not going to harp on that uh, too much going forward because 
we are where we are and there's no way to go back in time and redo that. So I'm simply going to help the developers out all I can and stick with them as long as I see that and, and feel that they are really behind the game and want to continue to improve it. As long as that's the case, then I'm going to try to stick with it as much as my time allows. So with that in mind, let's head back to the farm. All right, now that we are back on the farm, uh, you can see it is, well, in fact, it is almost midnight if you look at the top of the screen. So it's actually quite light out here for that time of day. All right, so we've got our, uh, just to recap briefly where we were at the end of our last video, we've got our tractor here uh, that we are renting and we've got our plow that we purchased last time. So let's go ahead and head over to our jobs board. All right, so on the jobs board, we had we had finally picked up on the fact, something that had been confusing me uh, is how do we use our own equipment? Because we had just had a plowing job where we couldn't use our own plow, but now it appears as though bring your own equipment. So these are gonna be special types of jobs and I'm hoping that these are gonna be uh, more and more going forward so that we can have uh, the ability to get this equipment bonus. So we'll have $4,700 for actually completing the job. And if we bring our own equipment, $3,100. I'm actually not even sure if we have the ability to use his equipment to do this. I'm actually not sure, I have no idea. So this is one of those things, again, that we're gonna have to, questions are gonna have to be answered as we move forward. But for now, we need a cultivator in order to do this job. So we're going to need to close out here. Now, we could do this particular job. Uh, in fact, I intend to do both of them. But first, let's go ahead and close out of that. We're going to go to the shop. Now, in we have several things right now. We do not have uh, really an active mission. Wait, it says, wait, this is different. This is weird. It says buy the farm, earn $400,000 so you could buy the farm. All right, it told me a million dollars, or am I just not remembering that correctly? Now, suppose one of the things that could be happening is we are playing on easy mode because I wasn't looking for a challenge. I was looking to have some fun farming. So maybe hard mode is a million dollars and maybe easy mode is only 400,000. If that's the case, they have some text they need to update in some pop-up windows. Okay, so 400,000 seems a little bit more achievable than a million dollars, but we'll have to see as we get closer to it. The one thing I want to do here is we already have a plow and of course, we don't have near enough money to purchase a tractor, or at least a tractor that I'm interested in, which would be the Garrison 4X P36, simply because of its amount of horsepower. So we don't have that type of money just yet. But I do want to purchase a cultivator, because it looks like these jobs, we're going to need a plow, a cultivator, and I'm sure some sort of sower or seeder as well. So we're going to try to get into that as we go along. All right, so here... Uh, we've got 2.6 meters for this one, five meters here for this one for just a couple of grand more. Uh, so this is definitely the better option for us. And then you get into the huge horsepower requirements to get uh, into the bigger ones. So for now, okay, so 115 horsepower, we have that. Let's go ahead and select this one. We have enough money. Um, I don't intend to buy all of the implements we have. In fact, monetarily, it might be better if we just rented everything. But some of these I do want to go ahead and purchase just so we can get used to, to purchasing some, some things. And we actually own something in the game for if no other reason than that. So let's go ahead and select this one. Okay, you can have it in any color you want as long as it's red. So, and, and this really shows why, I'm not sure why we really uh, would want to buy it, realistically speaking, because 10 grand is a large expenditure. But per day, I mean, the $104 is no big deal. It's a one-time cost. $72 a day is practically nothing compared to the amount of money that we're going to be earning from completing all these jobs. And then per operating hour, again, still very little of anything. But for our purposes right now, I'm going to go ahead and buy this just so we can now say that we own two things. All right, so now we have a plow and a cultivator. But the cultivator is actually down at the vehicle shop which we'll have to open up our map. Here we are sort of in the center of the map and we would need to go down here to the vehicle shop to actually pick up our implement. All right, we're not gonna do that just yet. Um, 
let's come back into the job board and let's go ahead and take this job on field one where we're going to be cultivating using his equipment. Let's go ahead and accept that. All right, so now because it is nighttime, you can see that wonderful blue indicator that lets us know that we need to head to this tractor. Let's see if something works. Yep, it does work. All right, so the the comma on the keyboard, for those of you who are playing keyboard and mouse, uh, because my understanding is wheel and pedal sets do not work in this game. I've tried mine, and I've had no luck on it. So if you press the comma, that will enable you to hop between uh, tractors, tractors slash uh, harvesters. All right, let's try to go ahead and... Okay, there we go. That seemed... Remember, we got our new braking distance update. All right, I can't see a thing here. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and try to get in front of the cultivator. Now, this looks to be the smallest cultivator. So our farmer is skimping a little bit on his tools. I'm wondering how he's been in business so long farming, only using the basic tools. Now, I could be wrong. This might be the second tier uh, cultivator, but I kind of doubt it. All right, so we're going to be doing this at night, so I am going to press the Alt button and turn on our working lights. All right, let's head over and try to get ourselves into position. All right, and before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just sort of run over the farm just so it will activate the job, and I'll be able to start as soon as we get there. All right, let's line this thing up. All right, looks like it roughly lines up with the tractor itself. Let's go ahead and press Control, lower the hitch. Really wish I could remap these controls. All right, there we go. Let's look behind us just to make sure. Yeah, there we go. It's working. And we'll watch that blue indicator in the top left-hand corner. We've got to cultivate this field. It looks like within just under 47 minutes. Now, we should have absolutely no issue doing that, even though this is fairly slow. So we'll keep going a little while, and if this becomes uh, starts taking too long, we'll definitely move ahead, and we'll, we'll jump cut to when I am almost finished. But for now, one of the things I want to see, because I'm going to do the same method that I've been doing um, a lot recently, and that is we are not going to worry about doing things nice and and neat, we are simply going to try to get this done in a timely manner. All right, trying to get as much done and, and not leave too much extra on the sides, uh, but of course the corners are definitely not going to get done, and hopefully that will not be an issue. All right, it's kind of an awkward time right now in the game. The early morning and sort of the, the late night, just as the sun is going down, is very, it makes it very difficult to see, even with the lights on. And part of that, to me, is some of the funny lighting effects. Is this field not straight? Because I, I am not touching the steering buttons right now. And yet we continue to go in weird directions. It's We're not actually getting the entire field. It's kind of odd. You can see the icons at the top of the screen are going nuts because when we're right on the edge of the field, the indicator is at a point where it's almost like, you know, you're not really on the field, but yet you are, but yet you're not. All right, so let's see if this field is straight. I can tell, I mean, we've definitely got a lean right now. We're, we're on a downhill slope. All right, not too bad. I was thinking maybe the tractor had some wandering in the steering, but it looks like we're okay. All right, so you can see the indicator is really going well. Oh, and it starts to rain, which brings up uh, another point that I I wanted to make. If you look in the top right-hand corner, you can see that right now the icon shows that it is raining. There has been some discussion on the forums as to whether this is supposed to be real-time or if it's telling you ahead of time what's going on. And the answer that I got, wow, that was a short, very short shower. All right, let's go ahead. Oops. Go ahead and press the, alt, press the alt button and turn off the working lights before I forget. 
But there's been some discussion about whether or not this is actually real time uh, weather. It appears as though it is intended to be real time. However, uh, they did mention that the transition does take a little time. So what that means is it might take a few minutes in real time or maybe a few hours in game time for the transition to happen. So like right now it shows that it's cloudy, which doesn't actually appear to be the case, but maybe those clouds are gonna come rolling in a little bit later. We'll just have to see. So there does appear to be some sort of transition time, but it is intended to be basically real time weather. At least that's my understanding as of now. All right, so things are going pretty good. We look to be maybe, what, 25% done with our cultivating. So we're going to get, what was it, about $4,700 for this job. Uh, one of my, one of the issues, uh, since we have some time uh, to talk more generally about the game and, and not have to worry so much about this particular job, since everything seems to be going good, we don't have any issues like we did with the sower last time where it was bouncing all over the place and we were drifting the sower around the field rather than uh, driving it around. But one of the issues I have seen in this game so far is with the economy. Uh, and in this case, I'm not talking about the actual price of the harvest. I'm talking about instead the amount of money that's given for jobs versus the amount of money that you get for the actual harvest of a field that you own. Now, of course, at this point, in the career mode, we're a long way away from purchasing the farm. And then on top of that, being able to purchase additional uh, land and fields for ourselves. So we're a long way from that. However, when I have been playing uh, in free mode on the side, just trying to learn some more about the game, one of the things that I have found is that you make a whole lot more money doing these jobs as a a farm worker than you do actually working your own land. So you might, for example, make, let's say about $6,000 on this particular field, field one, which is roughly one hectare. Uh, this is, it's about 0.97, I believe. So close enough for our uh, purposes. So it's roughly one acre. And for the purposes of you know, if you own it in the game, you're going to get somewhere between $5,500 and about $6,500. Again, it all depends on uh, the real-time economy in the game, and the prices do actually change during the game. So that's not an issue. That That is definitely happening. I've actually seen, if you hold up the screen, that the, cha the changes are happening in real time. So you might get $5,500 to $6,500 for a... Uh, one particular harvest. So that sounds pretty good until you remember that we're going to get $4,700 for doing nothing more than cultivating this particular field. So that's a little bit worrisome to me. It's almost as if they've geared this game not to be, not to where you're owning a farm, but whether you are actually working on the farm. You are a farmhand instead of an owner. At least that seems to be the more lucrative position to take. And of course, that brings up yet another issue, which is that if as the owner, you're only getting whatever it is, five, $6,000 or less, because uh, so far, uh, canola seems to be the highest that I have seen as far as uh, the, to the overall yield from a harvest. So if I'm only gonna get, you know, somewhere around five or 6,000 for that harvest, then how can I afford to pay a worker, which is us right now, you know, anywhere from 2,500 to upwards of 4,700 that we're seeing for here. And then plus when we use our own equipment, that's over 3,000 more dollars. So we're paying, you know, seven, $8,000 for a worker completing one job. And, we're, and that's more than we're gonna get off of the entire harvest. So some of the, the economics of the game really don't make sense. Now, granted, I get the idea behind it. They're trying to give us more money as working as a farmhand so that we can eventually own the farm. That's the idea, and they have to give us uh, an amount of money that will enable us to get there within a reasonable amount of time. 
So I understand that, but it just seems a little bit awkward that as soon as you buy the farm and you might be thinking, okay, now we're going to get to make the big bucks, you're actually going to be making less off of your work, um, at least as far as I have seen in my brief experience in the free play. All right, so we're moving right along. We're about halfway done. Uh, one of the things I am really interested in getting into is animals. I want to get into animal husbandry and really just to see how it works. Uh, so far in the free play, I've not been able to do it because, quite frankly, it doesn't really work. Uh, in some cases, it doesn't work at all. Other cases, it just really doesn't work all that well. And what I mean by that is, um, at this particular time, the loading wagon, or at least the, oh, that was a terrible turn on my part. At least the lower end one, the introductory one, with the smallest capacity, basically doesn't work at all. Because I tried one of the, the real favorite methods that I have in farming simulator, which is to simply buy a tractor, a mower to put on the front, and then the loading wagon for the back so that I can pick up the mowed grass as I'm mowing. Well, I tried that here, and I was going to buy some animals uh, in free mode, and it didn't work. I couldn't pick up the grass. So I tried a few different things. Uh, I thought, well, maybe I have to uh, use the tether on it first. Okay, so fine, we'll do that. Um, that didn't work either. So then I tried the baler thinking, well, I really don't want to bale the hay because all I'm going to do is turn around rather than trying to sell the bales or because as far as I know, there's no you know mixed rations or anything like that in this game. So I was just going to turn around and feed it to the cow. So that didn't work. Um, uh, the baling started to work. That part was okay, but that's not what I want to do. Uh, and it really just highlighted that I'm going to have to wait on on doing that part of the issue. Oh, wow. It is getting really dark. Okay, so now this makes this that cloudy icon in the top. Wow, okay, hold on just a second. We're going to have to turn our working lights back on because this is... Wow, that is horrible. Boy, when they say cloudy, they mean cloudy. So as you can see, just it's been several minutes since we actually discussed that, and now it's actually happening. So, so it gives you a few hours into the future, it seems, as to what's going to happen. Oh wait, so much for a few hours, the rain icon just popped up, and before I could even mention it, it's raining. Alright, so we are now past halfway, things are moving right along. And we still got that weird graphical thing where it looks like the grid of the world. Oh, and we're, now we're back. All right, I'm just going to leave these lights on because I don't even know what's going to happen. All right, let's try to get a little bit better turn here. All right, I know we're going to leave a lot of area there, but that once this game resets after we complete this particular uh, job, it won't matter at all. So we're not going to worry about that. If this were our own field, then yeah, we definitely want to make sure we got every little bit of it. All right, so you can see in the top of the screen, you've got the five icons. For us, we are working on the one to the top right. Man, I thought I had plenty of turning radius there. Obviously not. All right, let's turn a little bit earlier here. So the, the top of the screen, the one to the far left, is actually the the plowing so you can see right now it's totally red which is interesting that it's not updating as we move along but it is totally red because the field had not been plowed as of yet i'm sure that will update once we get done with this particular job all right let's see if i can do a little better job of turning again the turning radius is something that absolutely has to be addressed you can see the wheels are turning whenever you turn, but it, boy, it does not happen very quickly. All right, there we go. We just have to stay ahead of the curve, quite literally in this case. But other than that, this field looks to be in pretty good shape. Now, one of the things going forward in career mode is I know there have been some issues with jobs not appearing as quickly as we would like. 
Now, we've not gotten quite far enough into career mode to get into a lot of that since we've just recently been uh, looking for jobs on the job board from other farmers. But I know there's been some issues with job boards being empty. Uh, it seems like if they're empty, just give it a couple of days. And I think one of the things you can do is sleep a little bit and that will, after a day or two, uh, it is supposed to refill the job. So to me, that seems kind of needless because if you look around, I'm sure this particular farmer that we're working for now owns multiple farms, or excuse me, multiple uh, fields. In fact, I know he does. We got, we're on field one now. We know that he owns field four because that's where we started. And I believe he's got at least one more field that we're going to be working on after this with our own equipment. So with that in mind, it seems kind of odd to me that there would ever be a shortage of jobs. It would seem to me, if nothing else, that you could simply have jobs on those three fields. And keep in mind, we've got several uh, farmers in the game. So each farmer has multiple fields. So it, at any given time, there should be jobs available that will enable you to plow, cultivate, sow, harvest, you, you name it, spraying, whether it's for bugs, uh, for water, water tanks, or fertilizer. It should be no shortage of jobs, I wouldn't think. But maybe that's not the way the developers are approaching this. Maybe they only want certain types of jobs for you. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how that goes. But for me personally, I would have just kept it simple and just had, you know, to where if nothing else, you could actually just spend all of your time working on just one field for a farmer and say we wanted to stay with field one here, we could plow it, then cultivate it, then sow it, then spray it, you know, with whatever the case may be, water, uh, fertilizer, and so on. And then guess what? Then it'll be time to harvest it. And then we start the process all over again. So it appears as though that's not the way the job board is intended to work here in the game. But we'll see how it goes as we move forward. All right, not bad. So we're we're nearing the end now. We're looks like about eighty to ninety percent done at this point. Plus, this has given us an opportunity to talk a little bit of, about some of the other aspects of the game that I've encountered. Some other uh, pieces to the puzzle, if you will. There we go. Let's see. Can we make the corner? Oh, not quite. Didn't quite make it as good as I wanted to make it. But overall, I must say, this is a better job than we've done on most of them. And I'm saying that knowing full well that our corners down here where we make the turns are horrendous. So at least it appears as though we're going to hit our 100% on the uh, progress bar before we actually get to 100% of the field being cultivated. Well, that was a little bit better turn there. This turning radius is something that I simply cannot get used to. Everything in me thinks that these tractors should be turning a lot better than they are. And even though I know better, I just cannot make myself do that. All right, here we go. I'm just going to turn this thing as hard as I can. I still don't think I can make this corner. How close are we to making the corner? Not close. Yeah, this is not good. Wow. Okay. All right, let's head back inside the tractor. Again, we've done this before, but you see there's a special price for grass at Grain Corporal. That is good to know. We do not have any grass to sell right now. All right, let's turn hard as we can. Oh, look at us. Where is... I can't hardly see now. Because I've got the time on fast, it is getting dark again. Looks like I may have to slow that down, particularly during uh, the daytime and, and make it run on slow. That way we don't have to worry so much about these weird lighting effects. And turn as hard as we can. Oh, we are not even going to come close here. And backing up is not a good idea 
because the amount of time and effort it would take for us to disengage the cultivator to, to raise that and then to back up and get ourselves in position, it, it's just not even worth it at this point. Oh, and we got it. That's 100%. Let's go ahead and get back to our outside view. Raise the cultivator, and we're going to head back to the farm. Let's see. Now I'm going to head, I believe we head right through this area next to the slurry tank. Yeah, there's plenty of room through here. There we go. There's our blue icon, and we are done. All right, so we're recycling messages here. Didn't even time, have time to finish my nap. All right, things are going too fast these days. All right, so $4,700 is for us. And now, if you remember last time, we had a situation where our relationship with Mr. Davis did not increase after we completed the job. So that seems to have been a bug that has been fixed now. So our relationship has increased. It'll be interesting to see what happens when we get to the bar being full. I'm not sure if it will start over with sort of a level two type thing or if it's just simply full and that's as far as it goes. Another one of those things that we'll have to learn as time goes on. All right, but for now, let's see, we have, I'm just trying to keep an eye. This just seems really bright for like 1030 at night, very bright. Even though obviously the, oh, we've got lights on. Lights just stay on the truck. Interesting. All right. Let's head back over to the job board and see if there's any new jobs. I know there's one on here that we're going to want to do. Yeah, there we go. Wait, this doesn't make sense. Why would we plow the field? We just got done... Why would we go plow a field we just cultivated? This is not a bring your own equipment. So we'd have to use that very, oh, that terrible plow. Unless I'm misunderstanding, who knows, maybe it's the same plow that I already have that we own. But okay, now the watering job makes sense. Uh, this plowing job does not, however. Okay, interesting. So I know that field needed to be plowed. And I think I actually... Thought we were plowing it earlier. I forgot we were cultivating it and not plowing it. That's me not paying attention. But yeah, that's odd that you would plow a field after you've already, after you've just cultivated it. But we'll just have to, we'll have to move on. We'll continue on. Uh, what I'm really interested in doing is the cultivating job over here on field number five. Now, field number five, again, very close to one hectare. So we're going to get 4700 for that and a little over 3000 for uh, completing with our own equipment. But first, we have to go pick up our equipment. Now, we're not going to be able to actually perform or complete that job in this video. We won't have time for that. All right, we got to figure out where we're going to store all this stuff, all of our stuff. So I think what I'm going to do... Let's move this over here, just like this. And we're going to disengage this and leave it here. So we're gonna use this as our little area all in through here. All right, and then we're gonna sort of take a shortcut here. One of the things you can do in this game, as in other uh, farming sims, is you can reset vehicles. So what I am going to do is take our tractor and actually reset it. Says it's going to reset it to the vehicle shop, and that's absolutely what we want to do. All right, so you can see it's now gone. I'm going to press the comma, and suddenly we're at the vehicle shop. And there is our cultivator. And wow, that that cultivator is huge. That is definitely bigger than the one we were just using. That is for sure. All right, there we go. All right, so the the reverse does seem to work a little bit better. Let's go ahead and turn on. Let's see, what about the headlamps? Oh, that's terrible. Let's just turn on the, yeah, the working lights. I like that a lot better. It's not like there's a ton of, of traffic out here on these roads anyway, so that shouldn't be 
an issue. All right, so let's hope this thing doesn't start bouncing around all over the place. So far, so good. All right, we're headed across the street. Nobody coming. Yeah, you can see we've. there are no people out and about walking around. Granted, it's just after midnight in the game, but this is the same way. Oh, look out, we're going to get run over. Oh, narrowly escaped. But yeah, there are never any people out walking around. There are never more than, I don't think I've ever seen more than two cars on the map at one time. So it's kind of a dead area without people and cars out moving about and doing things. I would love to see a lot more life. Wait a minute, can we get under this bridge? Ooh, that is close. That is extremely close, quite frankly. All right, let's pull back up to our job board here. Off the road, let's be a good citizen, even though there's no cars coming, probably for some time. We'll be a good citizen and pull off to the side. Really need to get a weight for the front of our tractor, but that's more money to spend. All right, so we'll head back over to the job board and see what's going on. I keep hearing these these noises. There are animal noises everywhere, but yet I see no animals. All right, so we've got the plowing job, which just seems so bad to do right after you've cultivated. And then you've got the watering job on field four, and we've got field five, the cultivating job that we're going to bring our own equipment. And we have our own equipment, but that'll have to wait until next time because our video here is running kind of long a little bit longer than I would prefer, but not too bad. So thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned next time where we're going to continue making money here in the career mode of Real Farm.